afternoon. We're back. We come to you today from Bordeaux. We're actually on the Bordeaux Lakes on a uh, little dock. We're going to show you a nice little view before we head on down to New Camelton. We're going to check out the fairy caves today. So I'll have a little view guys and then we'll head on out. See the birds. They may take off as I get a little closer. Yeah, here they go. Gone. <laughs> Pretty decent. We've got some ducks sitting over there. Let's go, Laura. Check it out. This wood is so old, maybe it'll break. Whoa, this is a floating one. I just fell. <laughs> Oh, we're on a floating dock, and uh, Laura's a little scared, so we'll head back, and uh, we'll we'll see you when we hit the uh, New Camelton Road, guys. We're on the 105, guys, headed towards Kelly's Mountain again. Uh, New Camelton Road is on the very bottom of Kelly's Mountain at the hairpin turn. It's a dirt road, so we'll see you when we get there. Guys, we stopped for one sec at the uh, huge Seal Island Bridge. Come on, Laura. Let's have a look at this bridge. Show everybody. This is big, guys. Look at that drop off. There are, uh, there are actually people that swim here in the summer, and a few guys actually jump off of the pillar down here crazy crazy so what do you think of that view guys isn't that beautiful beautiful that's why we're here to show this to the rest of the world see you when we get to new Hamilton road guys Hey peeps, we're back. We're on the start of New Camelton Road. It's quite a drive down to the end, but uh, once we get there, there's the Mark Trail to take us to the Ferry Hall Caves. So we'll see you when we hit the bottom of the road, guys. One more time, guys, for uh, an exclusive view. Um, we're down New Camelton Road. We are uh, we're pretty close to the end. We're almost at the Bible, we're actually at the Bible camp, but uh, it's a few feet before us. And we're at a wharf here, and we're going to show you the view. You can actually see the Seal Island Bridge in the distance, so have a look. See the bridge, guys? It's way off. That's how far we came. Over that side of the island is the 105 which we traveled to get to the bridge. And we live about uh, 20 minutes away down that highway. Like that. Beautiful, eh? Come check our island out. We love it. You will too. And one last view, guys, before we head uh, to the trail. Nice, eh? Beautiful. What a view. What a view. There's another nice one. <laughs> Catching a bit, guys. And we're back, peeps. We're uh, at the bottom of the trail. We're about to head our way up now. It's a three kilometer hike, so it's quite a, quite a walk. And uh, we'll be off and on as we head up there. Catch ya. Uh, I know what you're thinking. We didn't show you the start of the trail. Well, there's actually a little barn, a little shed. And uh, right next to it is the trail. See that? Now we'll go for a hike. We'll catch you in a bit. And we're in the trail, guys. Beautiful trail. Nice wooded area. I uh, just wanted to tell you a couple of facts about this place 
before we get to it. Uh, there's an old Mi'kmaq legend comes along with this place. It uh, says that uh, a native hero named uh, Glooscap, he, uh, he was a native hero and one day he was out in his canoe. Oh, a frog. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, off track there. Yeah, he was out in his canoe and uh, there were two two women on the shore teasing him, making fun of him. So old Glooscap decided he'd jump up and stomp down into his canoe and he split it into two pieces right away. <coughs> Which legend says these two pieces became the uh, bird islands. Okay, um, let's see if we come to a Y. He said go right. Right? I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we split the canoe in two pieces, and uh, the two pieces became the bird islands. Oh, lots of frogs running around here. And uh, the, two, the two women, he, oh, we don't go this way. The two women, Gloose Cap became anger, angered with them. And he used his magical powers and he turned these two women into two big stone pillars which now guard the entrance to the cave. Whew, that's quite a hike. Mm -hmm. yeah, we just took the wrong little path there. We were told when we come to a Y in the path to take a right. If we take a left, it's a longer trek. So, yeah, we just came to a little spot there, but uh, it was dead-end path at the end of a cliff. So, we'll keep going. But, yeah, that's one of the stories, guys, about, uh, about this place. There are all kinds of legends about this place, but that's, that's one of the ones I know. So, let's go, baby. I do have a few facts to state about this place. Um, we'll just wait a little bit for the second one, maybe. Uh, this area that we're at right now, the end of New Camelton Road is called Cape Dauphin. We're at uh, the edge of the island, the point. So, I'm just checking my cue cards, guys. Oh, yeah. Some things to talk about. This trail, it's six kilometers both ways. Three up, three back. So, it's quite a hike. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's quite a hike. In the 1700s, guys, the French the French considered this place as their uh, their fortress until they chose Louisbourg. That's how Cape Dauphin got its name. Whew. Our famous puffins, the birds, puffin birds. Um, There's an island there, that's that's why they call it Bird Island. It's full of puffins. Wow, this is quite a it gets quite, quite steep. See that? Laura's having a time. Having a time. Having a time. Like Donny Dumpy, having a time. Whoa. So we're on our way up the trail. Slowly, but surely. Laura's got to move faster. Yeah, short legs, you got tall legs. Yeah, just Laura's got to move faster and we'll get there. Oh, another frog. Lovely. More frogs. This is full of frogs. Full of them. So, yeah, guys, I'll, uh, Save a little bit of battery life and we'll see you when we get up the top. Guys, we're uh, pretty much top of the mountain now. Um, 
comes to a Y in the trail, fork in the trail, you take the trail on the right. We're headed down that now and we'll see you when we get there. Bye guys. Now here guys, um, this is the uh, start of the trail with the rope on the way down. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever been here too and it's quite steep. What? See that? We'll try, but uh, I really don't want Laura getting hurt, so if it's too dangerous, we're just going to turn around. See you in a few, guys. Bye. Ooh, what a hike that was, guys. We're here. We're at the bottom. How do you like that? Isn't that nice? Check that out. Now we're going to find the cave. Let's go. We may get our feet wet. Step on the rocks, baby, look. Come on. Do the same thing I did. Right there, right here. Go this rock. Here across. It's not slippery. It's not slippery. Step on the big one. The big one, yeah. Hold the tree and go on the big rock. Ah, we're having a little hard time with Laura, so we'll be right back, guys, as soon as we get there. Very disappointing for us, guys. We're here, but the cave entrance is over there somewhere you follow the uh, follow the ropes and uh we don't have shorts and stuff on right now and it's kind of late in the day it's uh it's getting pretty close to supper time so yeah we're we're disappointed about it but uh we would really love to show it to you just isn't going to happen today i was just over in there, there's a small little opening for a cave, but not very deep. And uh, tide is coming in, so I had to get the hell out of there, quick. But this is it, guys. This is your view. The uh, Bird Islands are over there. That's the island, the story I was telling you about. Isn't it beautiful, guys? What a view, eh? Quite the view. So, I guess now we are going to head the trek back. Long journey. Yeah, sweaty. <laughs> Laura didn't like it. Not very much. Not with the shoes I had on. It was a hard track for her to get her down here, man. It was it was something else. My shoes, though. Quite there. a steep climb. Her shoes are soaked. I got a little bit of a foot wet. And uh But it was a good At least you got to see us. Not the cave, but we brought you here. So till next time guys, let us know what you think. Comment and subscribe down below. See you guys. Show you guys one more time. See how much uh, sweat that was. Just wanted to show you guys one more time what uh, what the trail was like. Cause that's pretty steep, guys. It's uh, it was pretty hard. It's not a beginner trail, I'll tell you that. It's an advanced, and that's it. Signing off, so uh, remember what I said earlier. Leave your comments below, guys, and hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.